Hello plant friends and welcome to my channel. I wish I had more plants. My name is Erika and I love house plants. That's what I'm doing on this channel, sharing my house plant journey. I'm really happy that you decided to join me today because I'm going to be doing my first ever fairy garden and I can't wait to start. So let's begin. So first of all, I would like to say that I finally finished the pot. It took me about a week to do, maybe a little bit more, but because I procrastinate a lot and to be honest, I was not doing it every day, but basically what I did, I engraved it with a Dremel and I'm going to be inserting a clip right now on how I did it. So I'll see you in a few seconds. So I have this planter over here. I already started drawing on it a little bit as you can see on the edges and around here but I realized that all of it instantly goes on my fingers so I decided to draw a little bit start uh... what's that word graverating grav Hey Google, what's the meaning of graverate? On the website physicsclassroom.com, they say, it is the ratio of velocity change to time between any two points in an object's path. No, Do you want okay, to one second. Context? So I decided to start engraving it with a Dremel and then draw like a little bit of engraving, a little bit of drawing, a little bit of engraving, a little bit of drawing because I am sure I'm not gonna do this in one day. So yeah, let's start. I'm gonna take you lower and film this whole process for you. So yeah, and I have the finished product right here. I am so proud of it. It looks so nice, just like I wanted. So I engraved it with the Dremel and after that I washed it out so the grooves wouldn't have any uh, kind of dust in it. Also on the rim around. And after that, I had some white wood stain and I kind of washed it out with water and put the stain on and then wiped it off really fast because it soaks in really fast as well and uh, it just stayed in the grooves and I love the way it looks. It looks old, it looks like it was done some long time ago and I love this design. It's <laughs> the same design like my snake on the hand and it's actually a Lithuanian kind of snake. Well, we don't call it a snake. It's like a lizard without legs, you know. It's uh, it's like a common grass snake in Lithuanian. It's non-venomous and it's really cute. They're just adorable and it's kind of a Baltic symbol for a snake, sort of. I kind of like it. It has these witchy wipes to me like bacon kind of you know and i don't know i enjoy it and that's why i decided to do the spot like this and i'm also going to be doing this spot with some crystals so i have my box of crystals here such like this for it oh it looks so nice in the sun look at it it's see-through oh i never saw it like this 
Wow, that's pretty. Anyways, it has this shiny crystal part in the middle. Again, I think I'm gonna insert a little clip right now so you guys could see it a little bit better. So yeah, I'm also going to be adding those crystals and that's kind of be my fairy crystal garden. It's like a natural succulenty vibe. I don't know. In Lithuania we don't really have cacti growing outside like naturally. So this is kind of a um, clashing vibes, but I don't know. I felt like I want to do it like that and it has this just nice vibe, I don't know, I like it, okay, and I'm going to be doing it right now. So, let me show you the plants. <laughs> you can see all of them on this table right now, and yeah, that is a lot. I don't think I'm gonna be fitting all of them. Let me tell you a little bit, so let me put this away for a second. If you are on my Instagram account, you might have seen my preparation for this fairy garden, and I added a few plants since then. I got two more. Yeah, I have a problem with buying cacti and not cacti, just plants in general. <laughs> and I got two more today and um, yeah. So today I went to the store to check out if they have some cheap, cheap, cheap plants and I found this huge cactus for five euros. Look at it, look at this beautiful, beautiful baby, it's huge, look, ow, I got stabbed by another one, look at how big it is, and it has this, these awesome pink stems, that's why I just saw it and I'm like, oh my god, I have to get it. But the thing is that I brought it home and this planter is way too small to house this cactus and everything else I want to put in it, so it actually would look really nice just as a standalone in this planter. would look really, really good, but I don't think I'm going to be using it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because it's really awesome and technically I bought it for this garden, it's just that... <laughs> It's not gonna fit. The next one that I got today, which I really didn't plan on getting it, but when I was walking out of the plant store where I got this baby, I saw another one on a discount. There's like a grocery store and they had their discount plants out and this was the only one left. And I think because it fell on the ground, because it doesn't have a nursery pot inside, a plastic one, which it should have, which I know because I bought my cuddly cactus right there and it has exactly the same pot just a bit bigger and it should have an inner pot inside but this cactus doesn't have any and it's kind of shoved in this pot and it was on a discount on 35 percent and it cost me another five euros and here it is i hope it's gonna focus and as you can see, there is another cactus deep inside right there. I think I might be using... Oh, of course, I already have spikes. I think I'm going to be using one or two babies from here. Uh, the next one, which I thought is going to be a main centerpiece, is this bad boy, which I got a few weeks ago. And it's actually growing. Like, I don't know if you can see in the light, but it has this light green stripes all over and it's been growing since a few weeks I got it here and to be honest with you one of the bulbs rotted but it's okay I scooped it <laughs> yeah I literally scooped it out of there and the rest are pretty fine so I'm going to be dividing it because I would also love to keep one of the big uh, bulbs in a pot separately as a standalone cactus because they're so pretty, I love the way it looks. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Then the next big one that I have, I actually don't have that many tall ones, it's gonna be quite low. So yeah, the next one that I have is this Havorthia, which I love. I took it because of the stripes, because I thought it's gonna add a little bit of 
texture to the whole garden and I just liked that it has a lot of pups growing there so I can also place it in separate places in the fairy garden. Then I also got this flapjack cactus or paddle cactus, uh, sorry, not cactus, a succulent. And I also got it for the color because it's really beautifully sunstress and it has this deep, deep burgundy red color and I love it. I hope it's gonna keep that color because I like these succulents. So yeah, let's see how it goes. And then the second one, I, which I have no idea, and it's not a second one, it's like, what, the sixth one or something? Anyways, it's so flat, I love the way it looks and I hope you can tell the color because it has this purple top. It's beautiful, I love it. And it's really hard, like a rock. So yeah, we will see. Then the other one that I have that looks pretty similar, which also started growing for me, by the way, because it has the green pots all between the spikes. And it's tiny, and I don't know the names of it, but it's super cute, so it's going in. Another small one that I have is this pretty boy. It has blue top and these yellow spikes, which is really pretty. And I just hope that it's not gonna die and gonna keep on growing because I really like the way it looks. And the smallest ones that I have is the babies from my Echinopsis cactus, I think. From one of the bigger cactus that I have back from Lithuania, back from home. And it gives me babies and I took two out and I potted them up. <laughs> Look at them, they're so adorable. Ah. I hope it focuses. They're really tiny. Whew, it's so warm. Okay, and the last plant that I have is this string of pearls. Because I just wanted to add something that would hang out of the pot. I think it would look quite interesting and nice. So I took this baby and I'm going to be potting it up as well. Okay, so let's move on to building this baby. Uh, first, I should mix some soil because I have none. And <laughs> I also don't have cactus soil, which is really sad, but I'm going to be mixing up some normal potting soil with some pig sand that I bought for 75 cents. <laughs> it's like decorative sand that you put on top. And I thought that it might do, right? <sighs> I mean, it should just add drainage, so I don't think there's anything bad with it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be mixing it up with my soil and planting these bad boys in it. And I'm also going to be putting a lot of perlite in, so yeah, let me mix up the soil and show you what I've got. Nice. Okay. <laughs> So you won't be able to see me, but I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing in the pot and I think that's more important. So I will see you later. This is my soil mix. It's quite sharp, you can see. So I'm going to put a layer at the bottom. And uh, yeah, let's start. Let's see. So I'm guessing I'm going to be starting with the main boy. I'm gonna try to do this with my gloves. I don't know how much of a help they're gonna be, but let's see. No, I hate the gloves. So I took the gloves off. I just prefer to go in there with natural hands. Okay. I did it, I separated them. So this one has quite a big root system. I'm going to be potting these two up. Yeah, because I think I have the face of the pot where I want it to be. Okay, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna pot up one of these babies separately in the pot. Oh, it has some bugs. That's not great. So I'm going to wash the roots <laughs> off of this and I'm going to spray out the whole garden later on with some bug killer. Oh boy, this is not fun. <sighs> Someday, there's gonna be a day when I will be able to start a project and finish it in one go. But today is not that day, it's actually the next day since I started this project. And yeah, the last... actually, I did it yesterday and 
The first plant I took out, I found some bugs in it. I have no idea still what it is. It looked like maybe springtails. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just now noticed my aloe. It's pushing new babies even more. There's so many. Oh my god, there's like nine babies there. Uh, okay, I'm getting distracted. Anyways, so I got rid of all the infected soil. I'm really hoping none of the other plants don't have bugs because I did not check it. I am a bit out of it to check it, so I didn't. And I sprayed out the infected plants. I uh, sprayed out the soil. I sprayed out the plants and they stayed like that over the night. And I'm really hoping that by now the bugs are gone and I think I'm just gonna spray out the whole garden later once I'm gonna finish doing it but right now I just wanna do it and I'm going to be doing it, yeah. So let's go back to the garden. Okay, so let's go back to where I left off yesterday. Okay, one more time. So I think it was sitting somewhere here. I actually don't know how it's going to look. At, maybe I will put this a bit on the side, right, like this. And now I kind of want to take out this Aborthia. <laughs> of course, uh, this is gonna be hard. But I'm gonna make it... Okay, let's see what's inside this spot. This ground uh, seems really compact on top. I really hate it when it's like that. Again, I would like to separate these because I don't think I wanna... Oh, it's actually falling off so easily, the soil. Let me see if I... Oh, sh wow, okay. So that was <laughs> unexpected, but also easier than I thought. It has so many pups growing on it. It has three pups. Okay, so I will show you. So this is the roots. And right here is the biggest pup growing on the side here. And uh, right there is a small pup growing too. And on this side, there is uh, another small one growing right there. So this is what I'm going to be putting in, if it will fit. I hope it will, because it would look nice if it would. Oh my god, yes it does. It looks so cool. Yeah, I think I overestimated the size of this planter. <laughs> but no matter. Gonna look nice. So I'm going to be using this crystal, first one I'm putting in. It's kind of like half and you can see inside, I don't know if you can, there is the sparkles. I really like it. Okay, so I have two of these in. I really, really want to put this baby in because I really like it. I would love it to be in the garden, so let's see. I got so many big crystals for this and I feel like I'm gonna be using the small ones, but okay. Uh, the camera died. <laughs> so anyways, as I was saying, this is really compact. Like, the soil is so freaking hard. And I want to give this cactus a bit of a fresh soil. Because I don't know if it's even able to take in water in this. Like, it seems like it's already hydrophobic. I'm gonna try to loosen it up at least a little bit so it can at least get some roots in the fresh soil. <laughs> this cactus is so cute. It's so flat. <laughs> Looks really, really cute. I don't know if you can see, but let me try to... It's right there. Mm, this hurts so much. Okay, looks good. What next? I don't know. I feel like maybe these? I feel like maybe these. Or maybe that. No, these. I see something I don't enjoy. Something that looks like webbing. No. Okay. Oh my god, I think I will need to take some kind of a brush later to brush these off. Okay, I think this will do. Yeah, I think I'm going now in with some string of pearls. Let's see. Oops. I really imagined that this planter is bigger, but anyways, this is looking so cute for now. I'm really happy about it. <laughs> it's so dry. really fun actually it's I don't know if it's gonna be counted as fairy garden to be honest maybe it's more of a cactus arrangement because I don't know it doesn't really have any houses in here only crystals but I still consider this like a magical fairy garden 
And I don't know, I think I might be putting on some pink sand, the one that I was uh, putting in the soil for the drainage. I think I will sprinkle some on top and make it nice and like, you know, deserty looking. Don't stab me, I am trying to make your life better. I mean, I'm trying to make my life better with you, but my life is your life basically. Now, that's it, we're in this together. I hope that you will be able to see like this a little bit better. So yeah, basically I have this brush. It's painting brush for painting, but I'm using it in here for my plants and it's working perfectly, so... Yeah, I think this is good. I still want to add these tiny babies in and yeah, we will see how that looks. Look at that tiny root system. How cute, I love it. And it's done, I think. Okay, now I have to put on the sand. Yeah, I think I will need my spoon for the, not spoon, my tiny shovel. Alright, I think I'm done. So here it is, my first ever fairy garden. I think you can call it fairy garden, right? <laughs> like, I can totally imagine fairies living here. It's really, really cute. I am so happy with it. I think it's so nice. Look at it, I'm gonna show it to you. So I put a few real crystals in and I found uh, three of these fake crystals from Aliexpress. Actually, I don't know, maybe they're real crystals too, but they're from Aliexpress and they're crystal shaped, so... Uh, I added them there as well. I'm really happy with it. I think that it's really, really cute, adorable, and... I don't know, I just, I'm in love with it. Now I only need to find a place for it. And I think that this pink sand, this yellow pink sand fits really nice with the terracotta planter. And I'm just, I cannot wait to see how it's gonna be growing and thriving or maybe dying. I hope not. So we will see, we will see. And it's going to be fun. You can just hang there, babe. I love it. It's really cute. So that was it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it because I had so much fun making it. Not the first day when I found all the bugs, that was no bueno, but this was really fun. I am really happy with how it turned out. Again, I think that it's so cute and so fairy y and just magical and witchy all around. I am in love and I hope I'm gonna find a really good place for it. If you have any tips on how to take care of fairy gardens or just cacti arrangements in general, please let me know in the comments below. I will appreciate it because I've never done this before. So yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys updated and if you wanna see those updates, yeah, maybe you can consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a like on this video, if you liked it, of course. And yeah, that's it. You know, like, I have so many, like, I bought way too many cacti for this arrangement, but kinda wish I had more plants, you know? It's just never-ending story. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye!